Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing the weekly reading for the sign of Leo. So we have warrior spirit. We have level seven consciousness. We have draconian. And we have victory. Back of the deck, we have Life Path 4. Okay. So what does this have to do with my, my collective? That's watch, whoever's watching this video. How do they fit into this equation? So we have playfulness. Path to the heart. So something about playfulness is going to lead to some type of the path of the heart. A path dedicated to romantic love. Main life lessons will be heart-based. On earth to obtain emotional wisdom. Here to experience the power of play, be a playful and respected leader. Playfulness is the key to success. Hmm. Well, I see that you guys have been persevering and you've been really committing whatever these blockages or challenges you've been facing. You've been really committing yourselves to them, committing yourself to overcoming them. Um, yeah, you've been getting through some type of blockages or challenges here and whatever that blockage or challenge is, you're going to have some type of victory. It says victory will be yours. Your enemies will be defeated. Keep going and you'll have your win. Okay. So how does this, what does this have to do with the, so yeah, we have source of light. Okay. So here we go with that energy again. We're like, you're maybe the more evolved twin or it doesn't even have to be, you know, this can extend past, you know, the your relationship with your twin, just in general, you're the source of light. It says source of light and positivity to others. Achieving personal growth and wisdom, your inner strength inspires others. So you're kind of inspiring others to maybe take a more spiritual path or to heal themselves or connect with themselves more emotionally or <sighs> teenage soul in the back of the deck. Exercising free will in life. Okay, so what does that mean for the collective? Newborn soul. Okay. What about ancestors? Spirit baby. I'm telling you, this keeps coming out. What is Okay, so tell me what this means. Lucky star. And culture. Soul meant to transcend all cultures. Deep connection to your ancestors. It's like your your ancestors are like kind of like something to do with like it says born with good luck, things come naturally and effortlessly to you, more likely to get lucky in life. Life path three and long life. Seeking answers. Hmm. What is this? <laughs> so what does this mean for the, the, the twin flame collect? I need to know, like, this is a lot of crazy, like all over the place message. Not crazy, but all over the place. So yeah, hidden blessings. It's funny because before I even started filming this, I kept hearing in my head, blessing in disguise, blessing in disguise. So it says, find the blessings and the struggles, grow and expand beyond the limitations, be grateful for all life experiences, okay? Level five, you've given up destructive habits. I feel like you were got, you were trying to make something work with this person, or you were trying to make, like, keep a situation, you were like the glue that was keeping a situation together, and I feel like you guys are, like, kind of feel like that became self-destructive to some degree. Like, some of you guys are healers, like, it says you know how to heal others' pain, but, like, you were maybe doing this to a detriment. Yeah. Like you were trying to keep a situation together and I feel like you were maybe trying to save somebody or heal somebody or even if you didn't know you were doing that, that's what you were doing. Starting to manifest your spiritual being, you maintain balance in your life, okay? Rock bottom. Ooh. Someone's about to hit rock bottom. Learn to push the boundaries of life. Master situations that challenge you. If it's not rock bottom, then some, you're about to ma master some type of really challenging situation that was very difficult for you to overcome. So what's this mean? What's rock bottom mean for my collective watching this? Yeah, it says prioritize work over love. Okay. What does that have to do with rock bottom? Palladian. 
understand polarity and balance here to help you're, you're helping somebody evolve i don't know guys you're helping your twin evolve and grow you're like the more evolved twin you're helping them come into their more come into more of their spiritual being yeah challenger of social norms you're like chat like being with you is really making this person like they if they were raised a certain way it's kind of making them look at things differently or kind of break out of some destructive habits that they learned from like the way that they were raised and from their family and their you know generations or something like that lone wolf so yeah some of you guys can be feeling like you some of you guys are mastering the lesson of independence here it says mastering what you're called to do conquering your life mission discovering your true self yeah road to success will be lonely living a meaningful life as a loner loner so it's like you guys are like maybe feeling more alone right now or you're like circle smaller but yeah yeah, didn't I just say this? It says prone to rescuing partners. I just said that. Have vision and passion to inspire others. Yeah, life path nine, some of you. Okay, so what does this mean for their twin? It's like you guys are mastering the lesson of being like, so this is, I kept hearing separation when I was shuffling the cards too. So this is somebody that I feel like you're not in contact with or you're currently in separation from. So what does this mean for their twin? Hmm. Okay, what does life path two have to do with their twin? New territory. It's like you're helping this person. This person's never really fostered. Like they've never really been like a, comp like a good companion or like they've never really had harmonious relationships or partnerships. This is like maybe a, like a, a, they're a loner and they're like a hermit and they don't usually like, they don't like being in, going out in public or being in the limelight or getting a lot of attention or something like that. But they're about to step into some type of new territory here. You're helping them step into new territory, try new things in life, a walk in from unfamiliar territory, enabling success through learning. Okay, so what is, tell me more about what this means for their twin. Life path. Yeah, they, they have like a strong desire to love and be loved, or that's what they're starting to come into that energy. But I feel like you've motivated this person in some way. Yeah, to transform many changes throughout your life, experiencing many endings at once. You thrive through change. So somebody's going to be experiencing a lot of things falling out of their life at once. But Spirit says you're going to be getting through this. What does this mean for their person, though? Their twin. What? Where is the energy breaking contract? Contract stop serving your growth, freeing yourself from a soul contract, altering your divine blueprint. What does this mean for their connection with my collective? Simplicity. Okay. They're like someone's like um, decluttering their their yeah. Pain, trauma, limiting beliefs. Clearing ancestral agreements, healing ancestral line in the future. Lost. Yeah, somebody, your soul is asking for change. Somebody's soul was asking for change and they were like in some type of karmic contract that was no longer serving their growth. It was keeping the, it was blocking the change. Phase of self-discovery and creation, a time of confusion and feeling lost. Lyran or Lyran. Excel, go from flame to flame. Binge. It's something here about binging and physical joys. Tell me more about that. Yeah, hard work. Like there needs to be good, like a good balance between like it says hard work to unlock your potential. Things in life won't come easy. Learning the way value of hard work. Some of you guys like people that are a little rough around the edges. Mm hmm. Try to save them. Try to heal them. Make them better. This long life card is coming out again. So what does that have to do with anything? Some of you guys. Yeah, shy away from sudden changes. Great team player, not showy. Yeah, stays in situations for a very long time. Is this my collective that's doing this? Or see, so we have tragedy. Deep lessons concealed in tragedies. Helping. It's like you're help, you're helping somebody cope. I feel like what is their energy? What is my collective's energy? They're telling you to be patient. Yeah, you're also like learning lessons right now and being patient because there's some type of breakthrough. And like while you're being patient, it's like you're going to be emerging into your true self. It's so allowing your magic to create in life. You've worked your magic on somebody, whether it has happened, like you, you've seen it yet or not. You have worked your magic. It's This is leading to a breakthrough in lessons. You're teaching someone something. If you could even be helping somebody heal their inner child. Yeah. Somebody that you're, it's either you or somebody that you're dealing with is has maybe has like some suppressed or um, yeah, repressed, suppressed, whatever I'm trying to say emotions from their childhood that can maybe be coming up to the surface as well um but anyways um 
uh, prepare and take care of the details. Don't act if the timing isn't right. What does patience mean for my collective? See, burning karma. So you're maybe dealing with somebody that's, ooh, you know what this is, guys? You know what is happening here? You have some type of good karma that's flowing into your life. But didn't I just say that you guys were dealing with somebody that was rough around the edges? We had that criminal mind card that came out. You've been dealing with somebody that has like has done a lot of shitty things in the past. They they have some bad karma to reap. And I feel like they're about to be going through something here. They're about to be going through some type of tragedy. Yeah, tragedy helps you find your and it's gonna help them find their purpose. Deep lessons concealed in tragedies. Master the ability to wait. It's like something that you want to come together can't come together right now because this person, we have this burning karma and what was it? And breaking contract. They're about to be going through, they're in some type of karma, they're, or they're like about to, some type of karmic contract's about to like begin or play out for this person. That they need to find their way out of it. They need to work through it. You, 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 you can't save this person. It's like you're blocking this person. You've been blocking this person's karma. Because I see that it says easy road for you. Ma making it through life unscathed, a comfortable average life, good karma flowing into your life. Yeah, and born witch. So it's like there's some type of good karma flowing into your life. And there's some type of bad karma. Or if you guys were even in a cycle of bad karma, you're, you've, you're, you've burned that off. And now you're like taking steps towards your soul freedom and, and advancing towards your true potential. But I feel like for this person, mm, yeah, what about connections? What is connections here? Marriage. Okay, what's this mean for my, my collective? You're going to end up with this person. I don't know, guys. You guys are going to end up having a child with this person. Yep. A child meant to do great things. You'll become a parent in this life. Lessons you learn from your child. Marriage meant to elevate your soul. You will, Some of you guys are starting to think that you'll never find your person. You're going to be a forever alone or that's how they felt about themselves. It says you will marry in this lifetime experiencing oneness in marriage. And it says fostering meaningful friendships. You thrive through your connections, living life with an open hand. Yeah, and playfulness. Again. Syrian. Level eight consciousness. Someone's about to have an ego death. Their ego is beginning to crumble. And why? It's like somebody's finally wanting to have something like settle down, have something long term and stable now. We're going to get more clarity. I don't know. It's almost like Spirit is saying that like you can't save this person. There's some things that they need to go through. And it looks like it's going to maybe be some tragedies, some difficult experiences that they're going to have to experience. And like it's best that you not get involved with this because this is actually going to like. Because if you're around somebody that is reaping bad karma, that karma is also going to leach into your life. And you're supposed to be in like a cycle because uh, it's crazy. You know, what's about, this is about to transpire over the next until November because we're, we're in Saturn. What are we in? Saturn retrograde? Yeah. Or for some of you guys could be in your Saturn return. So you guys could be about 28, 29 years. Okay. If not that, I don't know. There's something about Saturn and karma. We are in Saturn retrograde and it's, we've been in, Saturn's been in retrograde for a few weeks now, right? So it's something about like from now until the end of the year, someone's going to be getting a lot of karma. And Spirit says it's best that you not be involved with this person right now. It's, they're telling you to be patient. This person and whatever they're about to go through is going to be very difficult, but it's going to teach them the lessons that they should learn and it's going to help them evolve and it's, it's going to lead that's what's leading to this union in this marriage here all right so that became very clear so actually i'm going to jump right into the love cards um let's see it's like you tried to make something work and you were dealing with like a very manipulative you were maybe trying to like um kind of how do i say that like just kind of settle and just deal with some things and maybe like you weren't in your authentic self with this person because you just wanted to make something work with them so bad. You like kind of put up with some things that you really weren't okay with. You weren't being true to yourself just because you were trying to keep the peace or unite, unite the two of you together. But you have a victory coming in. Someone's ego is beginning to crumble. Someone's going to have an ego death here. Oh shit. Hold on guys. It's almost like this person can't like, they can't um get out. This is not anything that they can get out of, all right? Tell me more about what's happening here. So phone call. So you're going to be hearing from somebody. New cycle, wanting a new beginning with you. 
friendship, wanting to maybe start off as friends, or they're going to want to build trust and a foundation with you. Yeah, they watch you, or they're, they're watching you, or they're just curious about you. Not over you checking social media. Love offer. Yeah, wanting to come in and offer you something. Yeah, this trap cart flipped when I was shuffling. So somebody feels stuck, or they're in an, they're going to reach out to you when they're going through some type of unpleasant situation, or this unpleasant situation is what's leading to this love offer. Someone's definitely up in their head about you. All right, thinking of you a lot. Tell me more about um, this phone call. Oh, maybe you had some type of communication with this person where there was a disagreement or there was some tension, some drama. Tell me more about that. Fights in phone call. Healing, moving forward. It's like the fight was about like maybe your needs not getting met. Like you were reevaluating your needs and somebody felt like, or they were, and somebody felt like their needs weren't getting met in a situation. It's like somebody was wanting to have like this very surface level relationship with you or you just felt like this person really didn't love you. You didn't feel like this was maybe the person you were supposed to be with anymore. Like there was some type of fight or disagreement or moment of tension. But I feel like you guys are kind of like trying to heal and move forward from this now. Tell me about new cycle. So we have, new, yeah, there's like going to be a new cycle of mutuality. Like if you felt like this person um, didn't love you in the same way that you loved them before or they didn't put in the same amount of effort that you did, um, they didn't want the same things as you did. There's some type of new cycle that's coming in. Someone taking a leap of faith, taking a risk, laying their cards on the table, take, taking a leap of faith into the unknown. And it says, yeah, equal give and take, compromise. The feelings are mutual. Tell me about friendship. We have opposites. Yeah, yeah. it's like you and this person were not on the same page. Yeah, two opposing forces. In what way? Because we have friendship and we have gossip. Gossip about what? So, something that this person's hearing or that they're seeing was making them feel like they had to come in. Maybe they felt like they were getting left out in the cold. Someone, Or that's how someone's going to be feeling. Mm. Feeling, they're going to start feeling very remorseful or guilt or uh, regretful is what I'm trying to say. So you and this person were on the same page. And tell me about the two opposing forces. Tell me about the two opposing forces. Break and time off. Bad intentions. Poker face, and we have forever changed. Well, you were definitely dealing with somebody that was manipulative, and they were a love bomber. And like, I feel like this person also didn't want to lose you. Like they, they, they didn't want to see you with anybody else. They had a jealous streak, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, tell me again. Tell me about friendship, addiction, wedding. Attracting love interest. What is addiction here for? New love. So someone's letting go of somebody that they feel is. What does that do with this person? They're starting. This person's going to start to heal. Why? And strategizing. But yeah, you've put in some put in place some type of boundaries here, or maybe they're trying to strategize how to put some type of boundaries in place. What does this have to do with my collective? Yeah, because you you've like cut things. You've you put things to a permanent ending. No more chances, goodbye to the old, and we have going in circles. So this repeating cycle that you and this person, um, something about boundaries. It's like maybe somebody's trying to figure out how to come towards you, or somebody knows that they're going to have to heal before they come towards you because you're no longer enabling them or letting them use you. Um, like you've set some type of healthy boundaries here, and it's like you, you're, you're no longer dealing with what you used to. It says goodbye to the old here. You're no longer giving them a chance that they come towards you in this unhealed, toxic, destructive energy right this low vibrational energy so i and i feel like you guys want to manifest this this is what you guys are trying to attract into your life it's, so you're trying to let this person go it says seeing a future with you taking it to the next level they choose you some of you guys are trying to let this person go maybe in hopes that they will come back correct for others of you you're trying to let this person go so that you can't make room for somebody to manifest somebody that will want to marry you and want to choose you and take things to the next level with you but there's some type of repeating cycle that is coming to a final end here between you and this person. If they weren't learning their lesson and things weren't progressing, things kept repeating, that's coming to a final end. And it's because of these boundaries that you're putting in place with this person. We have timing, bad timing, waiting for the right time. Patience is needed. So we have patience here again. And what is, okay, before we do that, well, what is this patience leading to? Let's see, mixed feelings. We have, yeah, playing games, hypnotized. It's like this person's playing games with you because they're they're coming off like, they're being very indecisive. They feel very drawn to you and they feel like it's hard to stay away from you. But they're also like, they're playing games. Tell me more about foolish. Trap, see? 
separation. What does this mean for this person? Yeah, plastic. Lessons, yeah. If somebody didn't feel like they loved you or they were unsure if they loved you, that's their that perspective is going to be shifting on that. Or they're going to be, yeah, love lessons learned, shift in perspective, raising your vibration. Hmm. So what does this mean for my collective? Yeah, reconciliation, exactly. Want to work things out, they will return. There's unfinished business. This runner, this runner is going to come back to try to fight for you. Whatever they were lying to themselves about or not seeing clearly or these false notions that they had about things, they're going to be, there's going to be some type of breakthrough where they see everything clearly, where they're no longer able to lie to themselves. Tell me about what is, why? What's causing the breakthrough? Clean up, cleaning up life, making healthy choices, cutting out the negativity. What does this mean for them? Home. What about home? Love activation. What does home mean for my collective? Gossip. What are they hearing about home and gossip? See, there's something that this person's hearing. What? What about home, though? Why is home here? Mirroring? Against time? Somebody's feeling like they're running out of time here. This person's getting jealous about something. They, they're de their feelings are definitely growing for you. They're having this awakening, this heart space opening, their start twin flame ascension here. But it's like they're getting jealous about something. Or they, they have a fear of losing you. Why? Why are they afraid? Why are they getting nervous or afraid? Yeah, engagement. Okay, what does that have to do with why they're getting afraid? Timing. It's like they have the intent to want to come in and have something with you, but it's just not right now. But it's like this energy of like them feeling like they have to hurry up and do something. That they have to speed up. But why? It's because you're maybe holding back from them. Why? Apology? Why are they starting to feel nervous, spirit? They just don't feel like they can escape this connection. They feel like I said, they feel like it's hard to um, stay away from you. And if they, even if they haven't told you, they view you as wish, a wish come true, wish fulfillment, all that you have, all that they've ever wanted, their dream person. Yeah. I feel like you guys are just kind of like focusing on yourself. Hmm. Why are they, it's, it could be something that, what is secretly stalking? They're, they're admiring your beauty, intimidated by your beauty. Your beauty stands out. Physical attraction. So what is that? There, it's like there's something that's unmatched about you. Okay, that's what I'm getting from that with not over you. Curious about you because they know that you are unique or there's something special about you. And they're very physically attracted to you as well. Like they feel very drawn to you. So it's like they're, you're always on this person's mind. Tell me more about secretly stalking. Opposites. It's like part of them wants to come in and fight for you, but part of them feels like you guys are just too different or like you guys are just not on the same page right now. Or you guys can't make this work. But they like secretly want to be like a power couple with you. They're just not maybe telling you this. But we have cut out and chaser. What's this mean for this person? Something is brewing in what way? It's like you guys are cutting this person off. And they're they're feeling more protective over this connection. Yeah, this person was stringing you along. They were taking you for granted. When this was actually a true love connection. They had love for you. They just didn't want to tell you for whatever reason. They were, they had a fear of making the wrong choice. They lied. Yeah. They would lie to you maybe to keep you holding on to hope or, or maybe this person tried to act like they were over you, but they're, they're really trying to hold on to hope that this is maybe something that will still come together. Mm -hmm, yeah, this is crazy. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't really see the, any, the, you know, too many aspects about what karma this person's getting. This person's getting some type of karma. All right, we're going to do some uh, some tarot, some tower. They're about to have a tower moment, I'm telling you. Can you guys give me more clarity on what this karma is and this tragedy is what is what is that about see we have justice in reverse so there's going to be some type of like unfair situation it could be a legal legal situation or yeah retribution dishonesty unfairness tell me that i'm telling you they're going to be reaping some bad karma because this person has been dishonest or they've been unfair in some way yeah what about it libra energy yep king of wands in reverse aries leo sag energy Impulsive, ruthless, forceful, tyrant, yep, domineering, vicious, mm -hmm. lustful. That could be a lustful energy. 
yeah, judgment. They haven't gotten their karma yet. I'm telling you. Yep, they haven't gotten their karma yet. Un they have unfinished lessons, self-doubt, self-loathing, ignoring and resisting the universe. Yeah, Page of Swords in reverse is also them not learning their lesson yet. So we have Scorpio energy, we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So tell me more about what's to come for this person, their twin. Okay, so we have the Ten of Cups. We have the Ten of Swords. Ooh. So we have the Ten of Cups and this. They have some type of ending coming in. Some type of ending. It says happiness, divine love. It's like, I just heard something's about to be kind of like, they are, they're going to feel like it was snatched out of their hands. Like they maybe felt like they finally like, were, things were maybe going well for them or like they were they were headed towards it could even be something to do with family it could be like some type of family crisis or some type of like yeah it says happiness divine love blissful relationship i don't know if this is even this could even be this connection tell me more about what this means for this person the five of wands reverse release of tension what does it mean for this person Inability to commit this or okay. What does this mean for my collective? The hermit, you've withdrawn from this. You're introspecting, you're in hermit mode, Virgo energy, the chariot, and moving forward. Yeah, cancer energy. Yeah, but why do we have the emperor here? Tell me more. Something's about to, some type of painful ending is about to happen for this person in regards to children, in regards to family um a living situation yeah because domestic joy yeah some type of ending is going to happen for this person and i feel like that's when they're going to want to try to come in and end some type of conflict with you um but why is the two of pentacles in reverse here they're going to have a new outlook it's like somebody didn't want to commit to this or they like they had an over commitment like they were but they felt like they had too many irons in the fire that they couldn't give you like the full commitment or something like that but they're having some type of new awareness a new outlook, a new option, retreat, clarity, awareness, time to snap out of it. They're maybe even snapping out of something that they were lying to themselves about, an illusion. Tell me more. Yeah, five of swords, conflict, disagreements, unfair defeat. I'm telling you. What's this mean for this person? Somebody was maybe, yeah, the emperor again. Yeah, their ego, whatever this is, is they're, they're about to have an ego death because they were being very egotistical and prideful and they are playing games here. But they're about to have this new outlook. They're about to have an ego death here. I'm telling you why. Queen of Swords in reverse. Mm. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. The queen, Ooh, the King of Pentacles in reverse. They're going to maybe find out about some type of deceit here. They're going to find out about somebody was deceiving them or even maybe manipulating them in some way. Somebody's going to do something harsh towards them, but they're going to find out somebody was not being honest with them about something or like some, there was some type of deceit here. And whatever this is, King of Pentacles in reverse, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy is going to lead somebody into like some type of financial turmoil. Tell me more about what this means for this person. Yeah, Ace of Wands in reverse. They're going to get rejected by somebody possibly. Or... Lack of energy, distractions, delays. They're going to have a lot of delays. What is, I'm still, what does it mean for this person? The Empress in reverse. Yeah. They have some type of financial, de they're dependent on other people or they're going to be. They're not growing. Uncaring, insecurity, overbearing, negligence. Hmm. Okay. So where, where does my collective fit into this? I see you guys moving forward and going into hermit mode. So yeah, we have the magician in reverse. See, yeah, there's some type of illusion here in regards to some type of deception. Deception in, in regards to what? What is this deception? And it also relates to my collective, Aries energy. See, the Six of Swords in reverse. Somebody is, mm. if this, If this isn't somebody like betraying them or doing something de deceitful to them, this person was being manipulative or being deceitful towards you in some way. But yeah, it says stuck in turmoil, trapped, running away, returning to trouble or making, unable to move on. Unfulfilled potential, illusions. Okay, so what's that mean for this connection? The Six of Wands in reverse. Temperance. Okay. And strength in reverse. 
Hmm. I just feel like you're trying to let this person go because maybe they were acting like they were disinterested. This person was not being honest with you. That's what I'm getting from this. Like they they weren't being honest with you and upfront and honest about how they what they wanted with you and how they felt about you. Like they really desired this ten of cups with you, but now it's looking like it's going to be the ten of swords, a painful ending. Why would this person wasn't telling you the truth about what they really wanted with you? Why? Yeah, and they they will be back. They, it's like there's something else. Plans falling apart or them not knowing what the hell they wanted. Them not choosing a direction. What? Um, Why were they not being honest? Nine of cups. Struggle. Defensiveness. Giving up from exhaustion. Stubbornness. It's like they were being stubborn when it came to a wish fulfillment. They weren't letting themselves receive this. Maybe because they didn't feel like they deserved it. Like, deep down, this person didn't feel like they, they deserved it, guys. They, they, there was some type of illusion here. Them not feeling like they were worthy of it or that they couldn't trust this. Tell me more. Three of Wands. Why did this person also think that something was going to come in for them when they weren't really even putting any work or effort? They were being lazy. You, you, they just thought that something was just going to come into their life or manifest for them when they weren't putting any work or effort into it. Yeah. The sun. Leo energy. The nine of pentacles. You're finding happiness independently on your own. What is the high priestess? I just see a lot of like, I feel like this person isn't going to be able to move on from you. And I feel like you guys are going to, even if you, do, you may feel like you miss this person right now, you're going to be successfully moving on with your life. Like you're going to be reaping a lot of good karma and they're going to be reaping a lot of bad karma. Okay. 